Hello, y'all. It's me, Candy. Um, today is Tuesday, June 9th, 2020. I'm trying to get this bright air out of the way. I mean, uh, the bright looking. To see how this looks so bright. I don't want to blind y'all. <laughs> so, um, why am I, why did I say air? Whatever. Well, I got some sleep between last night and this morning, but it wasn't enough. <clears throat> Excuse me. I'm surprised that I got any. Um, because my diet wasn't the best. Because, um, you know, how much money I had, you know. So, um, like, I thought about, at first I thought I was staying here in Pensacola and never want to leave. But I thought about lately. Well, actually, I guess since March, I'm kind of thinking about moving away from Pensacola um, because of that man who follows me around. But I don't know yet where yet, you know. Hold up. I don't know where yet, um, but I know where I don't want to move. And I know people would tell me, stop limiting myself. <clears throat> Excuse me. But that, that man, he, he creepily follows me around and stuff. And <clears throat> harasses me. And it seems like as if he's going to, you know, nearly succeed at getting me locked up in a mental institution against my will. You know, so... I was kind of thinking about moving away because of him, but <clears throat> certain target, professed targeted individuals have told me that they, um, that gang stalkers have, the same gang stalkers would follow them to a different state and harass them and get paid to do it. So, um, it's like I don't know what's the deal with um the Texas license plates I mean um when I was in New Orleans they had a lot of people with Texas license plates who even resided in New Orleans <clears throat> and I thought that it was people who <clears throat> you know moved to New Orleans I mean, I'm sorry moved to Houston Texas after Katrina and then got a car and got a license and then moved back home to New Orleans and then just, you know, decided to keep the Texas license plates and stay there. But um, here in Pensacola, because of the coronavirus thing um, and the protests and whatever else crazy stuff is going on, it's making me, like, scared to move or make me not want to move, you know. I felt a little mildly homesick myself, but there's literally nowhere for me to go. And they say Florida has zero tolerance for homeless, but um, here in Pensacola, um, I have an established potty spot with my street homelessness. And I actually, even though it's outside, <coughs> I mean, the gang stalkers on purpose you know, filmed me, and then one time, it was after the police told me about that abandoned bank, and, you know, I actually had some shelter away from the rain, so I was protected away from the rain under the shelter at that abandoned bank, <clears throat> and if those gang stalkers wouldn't have done what they'd done, the, ba the bank would still be abandoned, probably, and it wouldn't be an, um, it, it wouldn't be that Japanese restaurant that it is, you know. So, that Japanese restaurant had opened just at the beginning of start of uh, 
the coronavirus thing. <clears throat> so now it's been like it's hurricane season, and it's been rainy, rainy a lot more. And that I mean I can't get my precious sleep at night because the sky look a certain way or be a lot of lightning, and I have to like be on the watch and have this fear of waking up being drenched in pouring rain you know so sometimes I can't get the sleep I could have gotten like that <clears throat> and the um the other place that the homeless people stole my spot and contaminated the spot with their filth and their dogs filth but the I was wondering why I was smelling dog piss. Well, I mean, I thought it was p human pee, but it was urine. <clears throat> so I couldn't sleep there no more. And now that place, it won't be abandoned anymore. Or because <clears throat> it's, um, <clears throat> it won't be abandoned anymore because <clears throat> it, um, it's turned into a uh, real estate office or something. No, I'm sorry. I don't know. No, I don't remember if it was real estate or a life insurance office or something. <clears throat> or some kind of insurance or real estate office. I don't remember. Um, so, that's out the question. So, I had to learn. Like, it looks like, at least here in Pensacola... As long as there's no sign saying private property or, you know, if there's, if the business is not active and if it says like, um, if, if, I mean, if there's no sign saying private, pri private property or no trespassing or anything like that, then I guess the police will leave you alone. So if it's a, a place where... A building where you um if if there's a building where you um see that a business is a place of business is um like available and vacant you can go and rest underneath that shelter. I mean if there's like a covering or a shelter on the building um that says like available or up for sale or something like that you can continue occupying that building you know and sometimes you'll be lucky if you get to charge your phone right there you know so it's like one thing people here in Pensacola want to I mean uh People on the internet, especially with this George Floyd thing, they try to make it like as if only 1% of people are racist and not that many people are really racist. That's bullshit because, <clears throat> excuse me, if you're black in Pensacola and you're on Palafox Street downtown and you're playing a guitar or playing the drums or something and black people, they don't give up. They just, you know, they'll be lucky if they make $1 for the whole night but if you're white and you're homeless especially if you have a dog a big dog like a pit bull or something like that oh they, they'll you can they brag about how they take a home four or five hundred dollars well why are they still dirty and on the streets then like why if those white people why are they dirty and on the streets why don't they, they can get themselves a place with $500 a night, you know, <clears throat> and they make money in no time because they're white. I've, I witnessed it for myself, <clears throat> you know, and <clears throat> the white homeless druggies <clears throat> who admit that they still do drugs, they smeared in my face about how they get $200 a night panhandling and holding up signs and stuff. Well, I don't even ask, you know, a lot. I only ask, like, towards the end of the month when I don't have much of nothing, <clears throat> you know. And the most I would get, like, 
I'm lucky if one person would give me, so happen to give me $20, and if, if, and once I get the $20, you know, I can try to stretch it for a couple of days until, you know, until I ran out, or if I need more, a few days later, uh, you know, maybe me a five dollar quota or a ten, make a small quota, trying to not ask too, for too much and just to get the things that I need. But <clears throat> these people seem like they're not really in need, and they brag about their drug habit. Some of them stay in hotels and stay dirty at these hotels and motels and you wonder why hotels and motels are still dirty and have bed bug infestations and stuff like that because it comes from them you know <clears throat> so it's like um down the street not far, far from the walmart um there's a hotel i think it's called mayfair Mayfair Motel or something. It's like a lot of the white homeless druggies. They live there, you know, and they do their drugs, and it just doesn't look safe over there. And at least over here, I mean, they got some ghetto black people here, but um, that they're, they're not really dirty here, you know. This is pretty. I'm surprised. It's very decent and clean here. You know, and it helped me feel comfortable and normal, you know. So, um, I'm just saying, I'm not trying to be offensive to anything or anybody. I'm just saying things for, you know, my point of view or how I see it, you know. So, <clears throat> it's like, and when you go to the, the Washburn Center, well, it's, to, to be honest, I think that the people at the, Waterfront Mission is mainly men, you know, since it's a men's shelter, but the black and white, it seems like overall, some of the men are dirty, but um, overall, the men at the Waterfront Mission, they're cleaner than the men at the Washburn Center. Black, white, male, female, everybody's dirty at the Washburn Center, you know, so... um I guess it's more freedom that more freedom is allowed at the Washburn Center, but it's more restricted at the uh, Waterfront Mission. You know, if you go day center, but I don't even go to the homeless day centers or anything anymore. You know, I just stay to myself. And with UWF College, you know, the university being closed, you know, everything was easier because I had some place to be during the day, and. Also, you know, I ate there. That was that was my personal day center, and I would go swimming and shower every day, except Sunday because no bus is running. So I would go to the beach on Sunday and get extra rest on Sunday at the beach, you know. <clears throat> but so <clears throat> it's like I've been contemplating moving. Over. I don't like cold weather. I don't like cool weather. I like it warm, but I'm don't like it too hot um and i know not no weather can be perfect always i know but you know i don't want to move farther any farther west of the state of louisiana because of illegal mexicans tormenting and harassing me and um call me racist but damn it they have a license to hate us and be racist so i don't give a fuck you know i don't hate all mexicans it's just the illegal ones that cause trouble you know I had a few Mexican decent people, but it's not many. Um, if I go to East LA, East Los Angeles, they're more Americanized and they're decent and normal. But down in South Central, where we used to live at, South Central LA, uh, on Manchester McKinley, um, it's like they gave me a whole lot of trouble over there and were gang stalking me. Heaven, I didn't realize it, but they were. Mexicans and Salvadorians and I thought it was just racial prejudice but I didn't realize there was probably a combination of racial prejudice and gang stalking again if you hate us niggers what you're doing in our country you know and the Asians too the dumb Koreans you know <clears throat> so it's like yes I know it's good and bad in every race but you know 
it's, it's like certain races of people do certain things associated with their culture. Like a lot of the Mexicans do Santeria witchcraft, you know, Creoles and, uh, you know, Haitians or whatever. Some Africans do voodoo, you know, so, um, I know I don't do voodoo or witchcraft or nothing, but, um, you know, it's, it's like, um, certain cultures or certain people are super loud and some of them are more quiet, you know, so, um, it's like, yeah. I, I feared being in places like Mississippi and Alabama because of the idea of, I don't want to move to Mississippi because I heard about debtor's prison being brutal or whatever and how how brutal they are with the police brutality and stuff and the idea of thinking about everything being boring. But some people suggest I go to Mobile, Alabama or even Montgomery, but Mobile is closer to here. But, you know... I've heard some people say that they travel and drive on the road and drive like say 3,100 miles away or something and or and then you know the gang stalkers will follow them from start to finish that's creepy now all day and all night gang stalkers always tell me stuff that's or they always minding my business they always commenting on my business, but people, narcissistic abusers always telling me that I should mind my business about stuff, but it's okay for the gang stalking perps to, and narcissistic abusers to act like they think they own my business or have a license to mind my business. Like, no, nobody says anything when I say, um, you know, nobody says anything when I, when I, you know, when I tell somebody, well, this person, this gang stalking perp, try to demand an answer for what's in my bags. You know, nobody said, said that they should mind their business, you know. <clears throat> so, it's like, uh, one thing about, I don't know about other cultures, but America has, Amer America is seen by other countries as the dumbest country, while, um, um, Seeing like America.